it's a lovely kettle here. Oh, I wonder what's inside. Lime scale, lots of lime scale, I think. Anyway, well, welcome to welcome back to Noodle Reviews. Noodle Reviews, yeah, yes. We're in uh, episode four now of this, and I haven't actually uploaded any. I'm just recording them and making them into. I'm just editing them like one by one making them into like a so i have like a little backlog that's right if i create like a backlog now make a little little noodle noodle house noodle tower i'm running out i need to get more of these uh but i recall last episode i did say that we would review the super noodles unless i've completely misremembered that now these super noodles these are the brick variety in the last three episodes we have been reviewing cup noodles um Brick noodles are a bit different. You need, uh, rather than a a pot, like an, a cup uh, that's already there, you need a bowl. So I've got a nice bowl here, big old fork. I'm not using chopsticks. I don't remember if I said that last time, but uh, I'm not doing this with chopsticks. That's, uh, I'm trying to, I don't think I have to actually open this without the use of one of my hands. Um, ah, teeth. Uh, There we go. So this um, fairly easy to open, uh, rather robust packaging. Now super noodles are made by um, uh, bachelors who do a, a cup of soups, I believe, among possibly other things. Uh, it's going everywhere. There we go. There we go. You can see bits gone everywhere, but you can salvage these. You just put them in there. I'd say the floor is clean, but it's not. Anyway, um, so yeah, it comes with like a quite a big package, quite a big like curry powdery package. Do that now. Uh, a little tip with noodles: um, if you moisten these, they'll just turn into sludge. So what I like to do is I just like to uh, do that, and then kind of hard to show without with uh, one hand, but. Uh, if you do put it put it into your hand like so there we go. and you get yourself like a tasty snack of like crunch nice crunchy noodles mm. 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 oh yeah mm. see so, yeah, I don't really get that with cup of noodles um Especially when all the seasoning has been put in already. <coughs> Don't breathe it in, that's a bad idea. What diseases can you get off the floor, like from eating on the floor? You get like maybe. Uh, I'm thinking like E. coli. What's that? What's that? Um, what's that disease that you get from? It causes food poisoning. I think maybe like norovirus, norovirus should probably... Oh, that comes from like feces. Well, there's probably feces on the floor, knowing me. Uh, probably all sorts. You could probably get norovirus or something, or just E. coli or some shit, I don't know. I'm just going to, like... Because I say that, oh, I don't get food poisoning. I did get food poisoning once. It wasn't very good. Um, so, yeah, don't, um, don't do that. Yeah, we're just going to let this dehydrate, or just rehydrate. It's already dehydrated. Uh, is there any bits of information on here? No, this actually says you have to um, put this on the hob and do that. You can also microwave it. I don't do any of that. I'm, I'm a purist. I believe in just sticking the bowl, and you get yourself a... Um, it'll just, just, it'll just do its thing. You just walk away. Really? Uh, let's see. Nothing really interesting on this packaging. Just, uh, curry flavoured noodles. I'm not a big fan of curry flavoured noodles, I'm not going to admit. Um, the curry flavoured, what, what, what do you have? Oh, you have the Singapore curry, curry flavoured, uh, uh, Newgate Express. Um, Egg noodles from the second episode. They were, uh, yeah, they were okay. 
you, you, you know, just watch the video. It's fine. I don't need to explain it again. Um, just to kind of recap, they were okay. So in terms of like the benchmark I'm holding these against, I mean, the only thing I can really compare it to would be that in terms of curry flavor. So I'm hoping this has a, I guess just a stronger curry flavor, a stronger thing. Maybe I just maybe I just don't know Singapore curries. I don't know, but um, I'm hoping this one just kind of like kind of more like a just a basic curry powder thing. So if you recall, I did put curry powder in the um, in the actual um, Singapore one, like an Indian style curry powder, just to make it uh, just to give it a bit more flavour. Because I didn't understand the I didn't know there were the the little bits of uh, of uh, seasoning on the bottom. That was that was my fault. Naughty naughty. But uh, yeah, we're going to leave this a few minutes to just rehydrate. We'll add ourselves the curry powder and then we'll uh, give this noodles a good tasting. They're a bit look about done, I guess. You know, they're nice and floppy. I've been kind of agitating them whilst I've been waiting. Um, oh, excuse me. Right, let's get this fucking that thing open. Um, how do I do this? I need like those, you know, monkeys have like hands for feet. That'll be very useful right now. There we go. There we go. Come on. I can use my teeth. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, it nearly got it open. Um, there we go. I think that's about... And then we just need to open it. There we go. Okay, I poured a bit of curry powder in my foot, but that's fine. So yeah, I got this you get this on here. This is the help if I filmed it. Um I know I know there's some more hiding. I know there's some more hiding. No, it's like the messiest one yet. <laughs> this is going everywhere. <laughs> oh dear. Right there, we, that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Yeah. Ooh, it smells weird. Don't like that. I don't know what that smell. Ooh, excuse me. I don't know what that smell is, but it's weird. Let's get this uh, nice and mixed up. It smells like um, I don't know. It just has like again like the uh, which one was it? Which one had that stale flavour? I think it was the pot noodle. Yeah, it has like a similar kind of stale flavour, but obviously it's different, it's not the chicken mushroom. Anyway, let's, uh, enough pissing about. Uh, long noodles. Long noodles, again, that's that's the preferred style, that's what I like. So let's give this a, a taste. Mmm. That's not, mmm. That's not too bad. Um, yeah, if I was eating this myself, I would, I would pimp it up with some bacon and, uh, some other seasonings, but actually, you know what? It's um, it's not awful. It's pretty good actually. Mm. I said try a bit of the broth. It's missing salt. <clears throat> it needs a lot of salt, like for it to be kind of proper noodles. Um, but uh. The flavor's okay, like from an aromatic point of view. A bit bland, a bit boring, but uh, it's got a decent curry flavor, I'd say. So, yeah, it's okay. Uh, be interesting to try it against the pot noodle curry. See what that's like. But yeah, it's definitely winning out. The super noodles, again, for the price, it's not, they're, they're not incredible. Your best. I always say, like, just get some ch cheap as, cheap as F. Um, I'm trying not to say fuck. Cheap as fuck um, uh, supermarket noodles. They're like 14 pence a packet where I live. Um, convert to your own currencies. Might be different elsewhere. Don't know. Might be cheaper where you live. But just get some like cheap as fuck supermarket brand noodles. And you know just, just pimp them up. And you win every time. Pretty much. Except the little ones. The little ones are kind of awful. Um... I can't remember if it's the chow mein flavour of these uh, or another one, but this one that just, I think it's the beef. I think the beef flavour tastes like, just tastes like chemicals, like bleach or something. I don't know what it is. I don't know quite know what I'm describing, but uh, 
yeah, it's, it's honestly quite disgusting. So I'm looking forward to reviewing that one. But yeah, this is, um, again, it's okay. It's just, uh, just curry flavored noodles. It's, um, needs, needs more salt. Definitely needs more salt. Um, flavor wise, it's okay though. Um, really not, not really much, many things to complain over than just add a bit of salt. In fact, oh, fuck it. Uh, I know I said I wasn't going to pimp it, but I will test that hypothesis by adding a tiny bit of salt. Just add a... Let's see. There we go. That isn't that much salt. Like, not a lot of salt. But we'll see if this improves the flavour. Mr. Knows About Flavours. Oh, I'm dying. Right. Okay. Let's see if adding salt made this better. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That's all I needed. Yeah, now it's salty. That's good. Wow. That That's... The salt has brought it up from like a, maybe like a four to like a, a five. I don't know if you expected a bigger increase there, but <clears throat> so it's brought it up like a whole point there. That's that's really good. It's brought it up from like below average, okay, to like average, like that. That's a big improvement, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's really good. Let's uh, put some of these, these bits back in here, you know. Yeah, not going to waste. Let's put some of the dry stuff in. It's crunchy. It's like, a, it's like decoration. It's also a bit of curry powder. I'm just going to see if I could do that and then just kind of incorporate it. Yeah. I'm going to have to mop this floor at some point. Probably when I've reviewed all these noodles. Maybe I'll never mop it so it'll just be a thick noodle stain for the rest of time. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Just goes to show you don't always need to pimp it with a load of shit. Sometimes just add salt, add salt, and, you know, I'm learning a lot just by doing these. Like, I'm learning a lot just about the art of instant noodles. Yeah, I'm just going to drink the broth. Mm. Yeah, again, not, not my favourite. I don't normally go for curry flavours. But as it goes, it wasn't inoffensive. It was actually quite okay. So, that's, uh, I think it's a bit of a shorter episode, but, uh, I know, let's add this. Um, so we've got super noodles. Uh, we're going to give that a, is that a four or a five? You know, I will say I enjoyed that a lot more than Newgate, than the Newgate Singapore noodles. I'm going to do that at five. Fuck it. Again, um, my reasoning for that is, uh, although I did pimp it up, I only added salt. That's the only thing I added. And the cost of flavours are quite inoffensive. There's nothing really quite bad about them. It, it lent itself more to... Um, it lent itself more to more... Uh, think of words. Think of words. Come on, you're on camera. Uh, more opportunities, more, there's more you can do with it because it's, it's a blank canvas. Also, it had long noodles. It had long noodles, which I like. I don't like the short, spindly, eggy noodles. No, I like long, thick, like noodles that you can just sort of bunch up on your fork and like slurp them down. It's good shit. That's, that's the way you meant to do it. Yeah, look at that. Look at that broth. That, that's, that's a good broth. That's a good broth. Normally I'll, I'll drain a bit, but you can see like there's bits of bits of grease in there as well. That's that's good. That is a 
It's not authentic. Oh, it's not authentic. It's not anything. But it's good. It's, it's actually quite palatable. Again, it's it's not like a, a you know a big fantasy doodle. But you know, I am honestly impressed. I'm honestly impressed how much better it was than I thought it would be. Because I've had two super noodles before. I've had the chicken flavor, and I wasn't really that impressed. I, I suppose it's because you pay a bit extra because it's a branded product. You expect it to be really good, and it's it's often it's always not. It's not always not always incredible. But this, you know, after trying some of the cheap stuff that isn't really as good, this this is actually quite nice, quite palatable. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's a solid, solid bowl of noodles. That's really good. So, um, what are we doing next time? Well, uh, unless I go to the supermarket to buy some, buy some uh, replacement noodles for this, uh, we're down to the. Um, we've got the curry flavor pot noodle, chicken and mushroom, Newgate, uh, charmaine instant noodles. Uh, these though, actually, I've already reviewed this right. I, I just like the. The girth of it. I should. It is confusing though, so I probably should get rid of these. Um, so we're down to these three. Uh, again, um, curry pot noodle, you get chicken and mushroom or chow mein. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna leave it a surprise. I'll have a, a long hard think about it, about you know just about my life in general, and uh, I'll come back to you with that one. So join me in the next episode where I'll be eating potentially one of these. So bye. Fuck you.